Did DJI accidentally create the best portable power station on the market today? Let's find out. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. You guys know the DJI brand as one of the world class leaders in drone technology and camera technology. They are in the camera and drone space in a big way. So it was kind of a surprise to me when I found out that they're actually in the power station business as well. And we wanna have a look at their first entry into the portable power station series. And this is their biggest offering currently. It is the DJI Power 1000. It is an ultra portable power station that is kind of the hub to their entire power ecosystem. We will discuss a little bit later in the video what that ecosystem is and what it means to you guys, the end consumer. Now this is targeted to people who need power in an off-grid situation, such as outdoor recreations, camping, road trips, that sort of thing, or disaster prevention and even regions with unstable power supply. This will support a lot of your power needs for basic functionality for a long, long time. Now this thing can output continuously 2200 watts of power. It has two 140 watt type C charging ports, which provide fast charges for mobile devices or laptops. DJI Power 1000 can be fully charged in 70 minutes and it is portable, safe, and it has multiple output ports. We're gonna explore those very, very shortly. Now, normally I do an unboxing of a product, but this thing is so big and there's not a lot in the box. So I didn't do a full unboxing. It's already out here displayed on the table for you guys. Now that we've got the high level specs out of the way, let's do a quick kind of walkthrough of what's actually here. First off with the front of the unit, this is the business side of the unit. Pretty much everything you need is right here. It starts with these two AC ports. Now this is the North American model, so it outputs 110 volts through both of these ports and they support up to 2200 watts per port. Now, most people would know that a standard house plug only does up to about 1800 watts of power. So that allows for this to support inrush currents when you're starting up like power tools and stuff like that, drills. If you're running a blow dryer, or a heat gun, anything like that, this will easily handle the power needs to power all those devices. Out camping, uh, we like to take our blender with us or our coffee machine, and this will easily power both of those devices. I've seen people even run um, a heated griddle off of this and cook bacon and eggs with it. It will do everything that you would expect from these two power ports. Next up, we have two USB-A ports. Now these are standard USB-A ports. They support five volts up to two amps of power delivery. And then we have the USB-C ports. There's two of them. They support up to 140 watts. They are USB USB-C, so they will do multiple voltage ranges all the way up to 20 volts, and they will charge pretty much any of your USB devices at max speed, whatever the speed of those devices are. We'll talk about kind of device charges and use times and all of that shortly once we get through all of the features of the product. Next up is the charging port. This is your main AC plug-in power. So this is where you're gonna charge this. You plug it in the front, plug it into your wall, that will recharge this unit. It recharges in as little as 70 minutes, all the way to 100%. Gams go. Are you paying too much for Netflix, Spotify, Disney Plus, Crunchyroll, Duolingo, Canva, or Adobe? Gamsgo has you covered with premium shared subscriptions for a fraction of the price directly from the distributor. Yes, Gamsgo is the shared premium experience that you've been looking for that saves a ton of money. I personally use Gamsgo for my Netflix, my Spotify, my Disney Plus, and my Crunchyroll subscriptions, and I have saved tons of money by switching to Gamsgo. This is truly an amazing deal you don't wanna miss it. Click the link down below to grab your deal. It also has this handy little slider here to switch between 800 watts of charging or 1200 watts of charging. Why, you ask? Well, actually, that's a really important feature because sometimes 
If you're pulling 1200 watts from an outlet in your house, you may also have other devices plugged into that same outlet. So even though this would charge faster at 1200 watts, you also run the risk of tripping your breaker because you have other loads plugged into your circuit. So the inclusion of this slider allows you to flip it into more of like a safe charging range where you're not gonna really pull a lot of power off the grid or you can go all out with full 1200 watts of charging power. And then the most interesting part here are these. Now these are SDC ports. And if we pop the covers open here, you can see these are a high voltage DC port. They have the ability to accept power, but they also have the ability to push power out. This is a proprietary connector by DJI, and it's what keeps everything from DJI in their ecosystem. Again, we'll cover that in a little bit more detail when we start to explore the products that are over on the side of the table here. Moving around to the side, you can see one of two cooling fans. There's one on this side and there's one on this other side here, which I can show you now, right there. Now that is because anything like this is gonna generate heat. As you're charging it, heat gets generated. As you're using it, heat gets generated. These ports here allow it to dissipate that heat really efficiently and quietly. That's right, this unit, when fully powered and being utilized, outputs 23 decibels of volume. How much is 23 decibels? It's really nothing at all. It's very, very silent, and you wouldn't even notice that it's running most of the time. Now, what are the key advantages of the DJI Power over some of the other brands? For starters, it's roughly the same size as a lot of the competitors. I've looked at the EcoFlow, I've looked at the All Powers, I've looked at some of the other brands as well. This one, actually, the size and form factor is my favorite shape because it kind of stays more low profile and longer than the ones that are taller. So this will be more stowable in places like in your RV or your camper. It fits behind the back seat of your vehicle. Even though the size is somewhat on the smaller side, it has 25% more power than pretty much all of the other guys. So that's where that 2200 watts of power comes in. Most of those other guys are not doing 2200 watts of power. They're doing 1800 watts or maybe 2000 watts, but 2200 is top in this industry currently. And if 2200 watts wasn't enough, it actually supports 2600 watts for up to 60 seconds for extra high loads and a total peak output of 4,400 watts between both plugins. So you can have one that has lower power and one that can draw more power and it has the ability to adjust based on the load demands on each plug independently. Now, while we're on the topic of power, what can you power with this and how long will it stay powered? That's a great question. This will recharge your cellular phone approximately 57 times. Now, keep in mind, your cellular phone is going to last all day. So this thing will last 57 days worth of cellular phone recharging, which is, I mean, it's awfully big to be recharging your cell phone because you're probably going to be within power range sometime within the 57 days, but it will do that. It can also run like a home theater projector for 9.2 hours. It can run a car refrigerator for about 19 hours. It'll run your coffee machine for about 55 minutes. Now, depending on how long it takes for you to make a coffee, that would equal, in my case, it gives me about 10 coffees. And you can run an electric fan for about nine hours. For you content creators or media guys on the go, we got you covered as well. You can recharge your digital camera about 59 times. You're gonna run all your lighting and equipment for approximately 1.2 hours. You can recharge your laptop nine times. You can recharge a wireless speaker about 64 times. And you can recharge your drone about 12 times. And we said this is the accidental best portable power station out there. And here's why. When we look at home backup battery, this will run a Wi-Fi router for about 76 hours, light for about 92 hours. You can keep your fridge at home running for about 45 hours off of this thing. Rice cooker for about 1.2 hours, juicer for three and a half hours, or you can run a microwave for about 1.3 hours. Now, if you're gonna run all of those things, obviously the total time will deplete, but hopefully the power comes back on long before you deplete the energy from this thing. So it is a great backup standby system. 
And while we're talking about backup standby systems, this also supports UPS mode. So what UPS mode is, you plug this into your house, just like you normally would. And then you can plug in your backup appliances into here. This will keep your backup appliances running even when the power goes out. So for those of you who are in areas where the power is not super stable, or even if you have a solar power system and you don't always have sunshine, what you can do is take your critical systems. I'm looking at your fridge for all of your food and potentially some sort of a wood burning stove that has a fan or a gas fired stove that has uh, that needs power requirements. You simply unplug those from the wall, plug them into this unit here and then plug this into that same wall where the fridge was plugged into. And this becomes the backup battery system that you hoped it would be. When the power's on, it simply keeps the batteries topped up and keeps the fridge running and that stove running. But if for some reason the power goes out, this will keep that fridge running for 45 hours. So you can easily get 12 to 24 hours of backup power out of this thing before you're gonna start wondering, when the power is going to come back on. And of course, you DIY guys, your construction guys that are out on the road and you don't always have power nearby, this could be the battery bank that you're looking for. It will run a power saw for about 40 minutes. It'll run an electric chainsaw for about 30 minutes and it'll run an electric jackhammer for about 1.2 hours. There's other tools obviously that you can run with this and it supports all tools. You do not have any 110 volt tools that this won't run. It'll run them all because it has the power capability to support everything. Now with all of that stuff that this supports, you're probably wondering, well, what kind of battery does this have and how do I keep this out of the landfill because the battery has just depleted and it's no longer useful? Well, the battery that's inside here is an LFP battery. That stands for lithium ferrophosphate. It is a new type of battery that actually can tolerate being charged to 100% regularly without uh, overall depletion to how much energy the battery can store. This battery has been tested to do over 4,000 recharge cycles and after the 4,000 cycles it still has at least 70% battery capacity. Now to put that into perspective, 4,000 cycles, if you depleted this every single day and recharged it to 100% every day, it would still take you 11 years to get this battery to those 4,000 charge cycles. You are not going to be recharging this every single day, I promise. So you can easily get 20 or more years out of this device. You don't have to worry about it. There's some great recycling programs for battery banks and stuff already set up so that even when it is time to move on from this device, you can easily find a way to recycle it ethically without having a huge carbon footprint. Now the dimensions of this thing are 448 millimeters long, 225 millimeters wide, and 230 millimeters high. Now we need to talk about these proprietary ports here because I think this is where the real magic happens with this unit. First and foremost, this supports fast charging of your DJI drones directly off these SDC ports. And that is something that is great news for all of you aerial photographers and content creators. This has the ability to charge way faster than any other power delivery system that you can think of. It'll recharge the Air 3 in as little as 30 minutes versus 42 minutes the standard way. It'll recharge a Mavic 3 series in 32 minutes versus the standard 49 to 60 minutes. That just gets you so much more uptime for all of your equipment, but that's not all they do. So they've got this. Now, one of the things I was really disappointed about is that this does not have a built-in app for me to remotely turn it on or monitor the system. And DJI thought of that too and came up with this. Now this is the DJI Power Dongle. It's not very expensive to get one of these, and it adds a ton of functionality. So I'm gonna pull this out right now and have a look at it. And this is it right here. This gives us our first look at what the connector looks like for the SDC port. And all you're gonna do is simply pop this out and plug this in just like that. And now I have the ability to connect this thing to an app on my phone 
and monitor the discharge rate. I can turn it on and off remotely. I can activate the ports separately. I can do everything that I ever wanted, which is great for you RV enthusiasts because sometimes you might not be able to reach this thing where it's installed. So it's simple to pull out your phone and just turn a button and turn that on. We do explore this functionality in much finer detail in a different video because this video is long enough already. Some of the other add-ons are something like this. This is simply a cigarette plug adapter. So you can see there, that's for charging all of your devices that still have that 12 volt port that you need. And this again, we'll just plug right in here like that. And now I've added a whole nother port. Now that consumes both of the ports, but there's a ton more peripherals. One of them is this, the one kilowatt super fast charger, which we actually review in a different video and compare against the EcoFlow super fast charger. So you definitely want to check that video out if something like this interests you. But one of the reasons I'm so excited about this power unit is the one kilowatt super fast charger, because for guys like me who use this for camping and road trips and stuff like that, having a way to fast recharge this on the road is essential. And this super fast charger unlocks a world of possibilities to where suddenly you're not stressed over using power. You have power just like at home without any worries at all. It's a great video. Go ahead and check that out when you've got a minute. Now these ports are what is the gateway to the entire DJI Power ecosystem. So what other devices are included within that ecosystem? For starters, they actually have an expansion battery that lets you double the capacity of this device and add more of these SDC ports. We're gonna explore that in a different video, but the ability to expand this over and over and over again just makes it that much better for you guys that are in areas with unpredictable power because suddenly this can become your week long or even longer power supply at times of need and for your emergency preparedness plan as well. It also supports solar charging through here through both ports. It will support up to 800 watts of maximum input power and that makes it so that this whole battery takes between 1.35 and 2.8 hours fully charge the unit depending on obviously your sunlight and peak performance of those solar panels. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. They can do so much with these ports that they haven't even fully integrated yet. So that is why when we talk about the DJI Power ecosystem, this is the hub that starts it all. Now I for one am extremely excited about where this journey is gonna take me. I have a number of other products to review from the DJI ecosystem and I wanna see how it integrates, but I also wanna share that journey with you guys. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that by clicking the link down below. If you have any questions about the DJI Power products, you can also put those in the comments. I do read pretty much every comment and I answer most of them. In some cases, a whole nother video is warranted and we will absolutely make that video so that you guys can get that information you're looking for. If any of these products interest you, I'll certainly put a link down below where you can pick those up as well. And we hope to see you again. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.